In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram was ninety-nine years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am El Shaddai. Bear yourself blameless in my presence, and I will make a covenant between myself and you. You, on your part, shall maintain my covenant, yourself and your descendants after you, generation after generation. Now this is my covenant, which you are to maintain between myself and you, and your descendants after you. All your males must be circumcised. God said to Abraham, As for Sarai your wife, you shall not call her Sarai, but Sarah. I will bless her, and moreover give you a son by her. I will bless her, and nations shall come out of her. Kings of peoples shall descend from her. Abraham bowed to the ground, and he laughed, thinking to himself, Is a child to be born to a man one hundred years old? And will Sarah have a child at the age of ninety? Abraham said to God, O oh, let Ishmael live in your presence. But God replied, No, but your wife Sarah shall bear you a son, whom you are to name Isaac. With him I will establish my covenant, a covenant in perpetuity, to be his God and the God of his descendants after him. For Ishmael too, I grant you your request. I bless him, and I will make him fruitful and greatly increased in numbers. He shall be the father of twelve princes, and I will make him into a great nation. But my covenant I will establish with Isaac, whom Sarah will bear you at this time next year. When he had finished speaking to Abraham, God went up from him. The Word of the Lord. Indeed, the man shall be blessed, the man who fears the Lord. O blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. Indeed, the man shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house, your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, the man shall be blessed, the man who fears the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. Indeed, the man shall be blessed, the man who fears the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had come down from the mountain, large crowds followed him. A leper now came up and bowed low in front of him. Sir, he said, if you want to, you can cure me. Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him and said, of course I want to, be cured. And his leprosy was cured at once. Then Jesus said to him, Mind you, do not tell anyone, but go and show yourself to the priest and make the offering prescribed by Moses as evidence for them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
The message for today's reading centers around the word faith. Abraham is 100 years old and Sarah 90 when God tells Abraham that Sarah will bear a son. It may sound impossible to give birth at the age of 90. Did Abraham laugh at that idea because he doubted God's power? Tomorrow you will hear Sarah's turn to laugh. Can you imagine your mother or grandmother who are at the age of 70 and above suddenly bear a child? You might be sniggering with the idea too. For Abraham and Sarah, their laughter probably comes from the source of joy of which God has asked them to name the boy Isaac, which means laughter in Hebrew. And so God tells Abraham to be faithful and to recommit to the covenant he has made to Abraham. And the psalmist today proclaims that those like Abraham who have faith in God and fear in the Lord will indeed be blessed. To have that fear in the Lord means to acknowledge who God is and what God can do even if we cannot make sense with our human thinking. In the Gospel, the faith of a leper leads him to ask Jesus for a healing. From today's reading, we can conclude that faith is essential and to have faith requires a few steps. To have faith is to have a relationship with God. In this relationship with God, it requires us to accept God as who God is so that we can be fully dependent on God alone and not some other gods. After acknowledging God's power and His desire to be in relationship with us, we can then move on to living out our faith. This is the part where faith demands you and me to respond to it through our day-to-day -day lives of how we act and react with others. We are called by Jesus to touch people's heart with compassion and mercy for the outcast. We can only touch people's heart when we allow God to touch us and to enter fully into the damaged parts of our lives and the darker places of our experience so that in turn we may experience His healing and life-giving presence. Let us ask the Lord to have the faith of that leper and dare to say, Lord, if you want to, you can cure me. Trusting in the Lord's mercy, we lift up all our prayers which we keep in the silence of our hearts as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us all and our loved ones in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed weekend and until then, take care of yourself and take care of each other.